Uh, one of the biggest things was like, like always I talk about maintaining outdoor living space yeah. and building outdoor yeah, living space where you can have all yeah. the furniture and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, they really wanted a nice water feature back here. Yep. So we got a lot of water feature going. Uh, it's all individually controlled. So, you know, if we want just the bowls on or we want just the deck jets, we can. Are those fire water bowls, just no, water bowls? No, these are LED water bowls. Okay. So at night, uh, there's an LED light in the bottom of them that glows up through it. Amazing. Um, yeah, and they're really pretty. And the biggest thing with this pool was we wanted a clean pool and we wanted swim area, we wanted a spa. But this house, the way it's shaped with all the angles and there's bump outs all throughout it, we thought it was a really cool idea to complement that with the pool. So like the yeah. angles on the pool, and the octagon shape on the spa. Yeah. It all kind of flows really well with the house. And their pool fits perfectly in with the layout of the back of their house and their and their lanai. It looks very grand when you look at their pool and I love that. Another big thing was we did want a sun shelf, but we didn't want to take away too much of the pool area. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because it's not your typical sun shape design. It's usually just a very straight square. So what made you, you just follow the shape of the pool well, again? Well, yeah, we, I wanted to keep that kind of angular shape like with everything else uh, in the design. I kind of fought the idea for a little while and our neighbors, Jack and Jody, had the shelf in there and we realized with the young grandkids, that would be a great play area. So we went with it and it turned out to be pretty awesome. And uh, we like to sit in there. Yeah, and it's, it's great if, if you don't want to be in the water, but you kind of do want to be in the water and you can sit there and have a drink or a read or just get some sun. Or well, mostly have a drink. Mostly. You know. <laughs> so another thing I noticed, which is amazing, is the tiered spillway. So I know you know, there's so many options that we can choose from with the spa. And I know you always try to make little unique things for each design you do. So what made you come up with that? So with the tiered spillways or step down spillways, you get a cool uh, aesthetic. You yeah. know, you, it adds a little bit of dimension to the spa. It doesn't make a lot of noise. It doesn't make a lot of water feature, but this pool is packed with yeah. water feature. So it wasn't a huge deal to have a big spill over here. Okay. So it was just a nice uh, compliment, I'd say, to everything else that's yeah. going on. Well, one of the things we we really love about the design is the spillover from the hot tub. We've seen a million of them and they all look the same. And Ben from Superior Pools made a recommendation for this step down uh, feature from the spa. And we just loved the idea and went with it. And it's, it's something a lot of people talk about when they visit. 